What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Build series on the Xbox One. And today I have a whole bunch to show you guys. I have to give a huge apology for not being here doing this series, but I hope you guys stick around and enjoy the video. Alright, so most of pretty much everything we're going to be covering today has to do with the house and also the mine and the also the uh, community area that we just got built over there. So first thing I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, our uh, project of the day is the community area, but I wanted to show you guys the uh, progress we have going on the house. It looks a lot different since the last episode and I did a little storage area in the mine and uh, first I want to tell you a story though. Um, well, the reason why I've been off for so long is because I have recently moved and I got a new job, so I travel around a lot. But I think I have a new schedule that's going to work for the series. I'm hoping to do every Monday, do a new episode, and it might turn into Mondays and Fridays after a little bit. So that's what I'm hoping for, and uh, we'll make sure to make that happen because I really enjoy this world. I know a lot of you guys enjoy it too. And uh, so yeah, I really appreciate that. And so what's been going on is I caught on, I still play Minecraft a lot. And the biome has shifted in my world. Because there never used to be snow up here. And now there's freaking snow up here all the time. So I'm constantly have to do this and get... Ah, it's just frustrating. So there's snow up here all the time. I put a roof on it because it was just snowing in here. And there's snow everywhere in here. And uh, so yeah, the snow... The biome shifting in my uh, world a little bit. You can see the snow up there on the top. So this is probably going to be covered in snow here pretty soon probably. But uh, other than that, the new update has come out for Minecraft Xbox One. So we have new uh, biomes and stuff like that that's been going on. Uh, we also, like we have all the, uh, I forgot they're called, like the savannas, the new trees, the dark oak, the acadia, whatever, whatever they're called. We have all that. And actually, if we go down here really quick, I did have a donkey mule. Uh, I believe it was Gandalf. And I actually don't think it was Gandalf. It might have been. I will just go and look really quick. But I had him, and we went off to go explore and check out the new update and stuff. So I was really trying to get dark oak uh, saplings, and uh, I kind of had to bail on him because he was slowing me down. Well, it was Gandalf. That's sad. So he is way off down there in the south. Um down there he's like pinned into a fence so I'll be able to go back there and get him eventually but uh, I don't really remember where he's at so for one episode I'll go and look for him or something like that but the uh, the reason why I did that is because on this world I knew eventually the updates would come out and on Minecraft the blocks are generated on the fly so basically if you don't explore a certain area of your map um, you know those blocks will never get put there so I was hoping this update would come out I can go and walk to areas I've never been before and these new biomes would be there, and they were. So on this map, even though it was made two years ago, we have all of the new biomes. They're just a little bit a ways off. So okay, let's go ahead and start with the house, what that's looking like, what, what things are new, things like that. So um, it's pretty much almost finished. Um, trying to get rid of all this. As you can see, it has a whole bunch of new stuff in the new biomes, um, as well as like the little ocean temples. It's, uh, oh, it's so neat. Um, here's going down to our mine. I'll show you guys that in a minute and my new ideas I have for that to make it look kind of cool. Um, this is going to be my mine room or like my minecart room. This leads to the minecart station I showed in episode 8, I believe. So at least this leads all the way out there to that little building over there. So I can go anywhere in my world pretty much just by hopping in there, going to the minecart station, and yeah. <laughs> so this leads to my mine. I still haven't updated it to this, but I just have to hop in that car and push myself and that goes to the mine. That's something I still have to finish. Uh, this brick right here, just ignore that. I, uh, I built this fireplace in what is to soon to be probably the library, or like the little lounge area I guess. Uh, I put bricks around it just in case it you know, caught on fire to the wood and burned my whole house down. So that's why I did that. I'll probably put something else here to hide that a little bit. 
but I think it looks pretty cool. It turned out alright. Um, so this is going to be a little lounge area. I'm going to put bookshelves and stuff here probably and uh, might have a secret room for like enchanting. Um, so that's why I built this. It's just kind of kind of little wrap around goes underneath my bedroom actually. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but like I said, this is probably gonna be like a enchanting room I'll make. Um, so that's the whole idea behind that. And there's the community area. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, the sun's rising. Awesome. Awesome. So let's go ahead and head up. Here's all the materials I have going right now. I got all these from my uh, sugarcane farm. I'm just really struggling on leather right now, guys. That's something I really need. Um, my bedroom, nothing's really changed here. Um, I just love that view, though. That's awesome. Uh, mushroom farms in there. That little mountain. Um, this is the uh, chest leading down to the mine using droppers. You can kind of see the droppers right there. So this leads all the way down into the mine down there. Um, this is going to be the kitchen. I've decided on that. So this will be the kitchen. Um, I want to make it kind of modern looking. And it'll be cool because I have a good little overlook. This will be all glass eventually. I just left it open for now. Uh, so yeah, that's the kitchen. I've been trying to plant, those are Acadia, Acadia trees right there. We're trying to plant those and get those going. So that's what that is. Um, here is my uh, entertainment room, little couch, TV, pretty much a useless room pretty much. I might uh, end up putting my jukebox here and putting like the little uh, the iPod disc things in here. I might end up doing that so I have a place for that. Um, and this is what really made me mad about the freaking biomes changing. This was a swimming pool. And now it's an ice skating rink with snow everywhere. So this was a beautiful pool. Um, it was flowing off the edge, off into that, and it looked awesome. And so I'm probably going to have to fix it using glowstone or something, and uh, it's just frustrating. So that's the main reason why I was kind of upset about the biomes changing, but they'll switch back eventually, so I'm not too extremely worried about it. I'm really liking the way this is turning out. I'm really a symmetrical kind of guy, so it's that's why everything's pretty much symmetrical on both sides. Um, it's, that's why it's tearing me apart right now. The ceiling is not completely done with the trim. But I really like the design though. I think it's, to me, I think it's pretty neat. So we're gonna go ahead and head down to the storage area in the mine really quick. And then I will Go to the community area and check that out and show you guys everything that's to do over there. Uh, okay. Oh god. See, it's always tricky. So what I've done going down here, I've added vines. Uh, just to kind of give it more of a natural look to it. So, to me that looks really, really cool. Doing the vine thing. And then I'm also going to be doing this all the way down on both sides. Um, this cart right here... Usually this is just, uh, this bounces back and forth, because my mind's starting to get pretty long. So what I'll do is as this passes... Oh, I messed up. But I'll jump in it as it passes, and if I'm way down here, it'll take me back to the entrance or something, or... You know, it's easier just to get back and forth long doing that. Let's see if I can get it here. Yeah, there we go, okay. See, that just bounces off this, and it just bounces back and forth. So here's what I'm doing with the mines right now as far as the vines go and I just want to make like a natural mine shaft. What I'll eventually do is just have like random carts flowing in and out on these top ones. Uh, I don't really use these top ones that much. They're kind of just for show. I hate to say it, but uh, I got everything I pretty much need through these. Because these top ones I'm just falling down through holes and stuff. So they're just for show pretty much. But I'm going to be putting dark oak on the bottom, then just regular oak everywhere else and doing that. So that's the whole idea behind that. So let's show... Okay. There's something I wanted to show you guys. I'm looking at my notes here for what I wanted to show you guys. But uh, this is just really temporary right now. This is where I go just to smelt everything down. And it's just random crap. But uh, I'll be putting an industrial furnace in here really, 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 really soon into this wall. Because I really freaking need it. Uh... So here is my storage room. I don't think it's marked. No. I built this uh, probably pretty recently after the last episode. But I just never got around to showing you guys. Uh, so it's everything's categorized by, you know, picture frame, like what goes where. Everything's not filled up. It's just for future storage. So all of this is cobblestone. These top six is all gravel. And then that's flint right there. 
the roof, I don't know how I feel about it. I took a dynamite, blew it up, and just kind of used green glass because I had a lot. I don't remember what from, but I just used that to fill this in up here on the top. And it kind of looks cool because it's kind of like a natural natural feel to it. Crafting table in the middle just because I need to, you know, do stuff. And here's my valuables room. Um, I made this mostly for my community area because I've been having a lot of people come on and help out. So they have a place that can, everybody can neatly store everything so it's not just a bunch of random, you know, chests everywhere. So all my iron, all that, diamonds, emeralds, redstone. Gold, I know what you're saying, he doesn't have a lot of crap, but usually by the time I mine it, I'm already using it. Um, and I have way, 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 way more iron than that. It's actually in my new iron storage area at our, uh, uh, what do I call it? The iron maker thing? <laughs> so there's an iron storage area in there now, I'll show you guys that probably next episode. Because I wanted to go over the community area with y'all really quick and... Because we're already 10 minutes into this video. Uh, I don't want to make this too long. So we're going to go ahead and go down. And check this out. Um, I'm really, really, really... Oh, wait one second. So <laughs> I had to stop myself for a second. So this is the uh, automatic storage system. I've kind of given up on it. Um, I'm kind of making the... Uh, just go ahead and building the... You know, what it's going to look like. This is the little maintenance room to get into the back to program everything. Here's a chest where you dump all your stuff into. So I just had a lot of other projects going on. That's just been taking a lot of time to get everything together. So that's something I am going to finish in the future. Um, that's just something I'm kind of nipping at right now. It's not really my main priority. So I'm just kind of building the wall to it, boxing it up, and I'll be able to work on it whenever I want to. So this is the community area. Um, these are the people that have built in here, and as you can see the dates. Uh, August and September of last year, and so that's like half a year ago since I've done this. Uh, it's just stuff I used to build this area. And it's cool because all the lights turn on at night, but this is to keep mobs out and watch it be broken. Yep, sure is. Actually, I think I found a fix to it. There we go. I don't know why it does that. I put a double switch in there and it's been working fine, but that's just to keep uh, mobs out, basically. So here's the rules of it. Um, everybody gets a plot. You can build your house on any one of these plots, but you can't go over onto the sidewalk. It's a really, really neat idea. I think I've seen Lion Maker Studios do something similar to this, just to kind of keep the world organized so they don't have a bunch of buildings just scattered everywhere. But here's it. Community area rules. No trespassing other players' home or lot. Food harvested from gardens must be replanted. No explosives of any kind. Animals must be fenced if you do have pets there. Fences must be one block high. Do not make fences that are as tall as that fountain. We want to try to keep it looking a little bit classy. Uh, tampering with community area border is prohibited. So if you're to build one here on the border and you're going to try extending out 50, uh, just make sure you don't do that. We want to try to keep it um, as fair as possible and as organized as possible. No trees. Um, one of my friends, he got away with it because he put a tree on top of his house. Um, usually the no tree thing is just so it doesn't block other pe people's, uh, you know, view and stuff like that. But he put it on top of his house, so I guess that's alright. Uh, kill creepers with caution. You don't want to hit a creeper into somebody's house and blow their entire bedroom apart. So just be careful with that. And stray animals are fair game. A lot of animals spawn here. A lot of people need food, so you can kill them whenever you want. Uh, here's a fountain. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as my other one, uh, just a smaller version. Um, I forgot how many lots there are, I think 30 something. So if you would like to build a lot on here, uh, build a house and stuff and be part of this world, please just let me know. So we'll just go into these houses really quick and just kind of check them out what they got so far. So this is Zombie Slayer's house. Uh, he went for the more modern look, kind of a smaller house. Uh, I think he had other plans to do, like a, I don't know if he's talking about a garden or something else in the backyard, because he has a lot of space left. Um, well, I thought he did. But yeah, yeah, all this, yeah, all this right here. So, I'm not sure his other plans for that. That's one of the other things, too. Make sure you put a sign in front of your house so we know whose it is whenever we're doing videos and stuff like that. And if you do build a house, we'll be doing updates on the houses. So, uh, as new houses come in, we'll be able to explore them and check it out. And maybe somebody will be on this server, too, so we can check, you know 
see them in their building. So this is Cray Boy's house. Um, he has some different chests lined up. Here's his kitchen. Uh, pretty cool looking kitchen. I never really seen one like this before. It's kind of it's kind of neat. Uh, we'll go down to his bedroom really quick. And this is really cool. He has a little jacuzzi tub right here, his bed. And then uh, he just made waterfalls around his room. So there's no limit to how far down you can go. But if you do hit the mine, which is like 100 something blocks down, you should probably stop. But uh, there's no limit to how far down you can go. So here's the community gardens right here. If you do use these, just make sure you replant the seeds so we can have them reharvested. But if you do need food, you can come here and take as much as you want, whenever you want. Um, so that was kind of a cool idea. I think one of my friends, think uh, Calvin, said that would be a cool idea to do that. Um, before we go into Calvin's house, this is a plot taken for uh, Majestic Sniper. So this is for him. But uh, we'll be expanding this out probably towards that way. Um, I don't think we're going to go too much further that way. We might might get like a little mountain, get into the mountain a little bit. Uh, it just depends. Just depends. Um, a couple of my friends talked about doing like a whole currency for this map and doing a whole bunch of stuff like that to buy things and make shops and stuff like that. So I don't know. We've been kind of goofing around with that idea. We might do something like that in the future. So this is Calvin's house. Uh, this is his bedroom. He always has the green carpets. Uh, just a bunch of random stuff for gardening. Uh, he usually has a separate chest just for carrots. So, yep, sure enough. Yep. Uh, so just another extra bedroom he hasn't really done anything to yet. Extra stuff. I gave him these plants as a housewarming gift when he moved in. And of course he has a carrot farm in his backyard. Uh, yes. And then he has this uh, basement. He did have uh, animals here actually. He had, I think, pigs and sheep he had going on down here. And he might not want me to show this, but uh, I think he still has a secret room. <laughs> yeah, he has a secret room. Uh, should probably rebuild this for him. Uh, so there we go. He just uses that to store just random stuff. Um, hopefully he doesn't see this video and say anything about it. But I'm not sure if that's what I think he's going to do other animals in there as well. So you can do a whole bunch of stuff underneath your house. It's not just limited to what you do up top. So this is just a really cool idea. I really wanted to get people more involved in the world. And have people that follow me on YouTube and stuff like that come into the world and hang out. And just kind of be a part of it. And just see what it's all about. Um, so yeah, this is the whole community area. And I believe that's all I got for this episode, guys. Uh, next episode, I'll be going over some other stuff I've been working on in the world so far. Um, like the different XP farms I got going on. We'll be checking out the towers over there. Uh, seeing how far we've gotten on that. They're almost done. And uh, just some other stuff like that just around the world. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. And make sure you hit that like button, guys. It really helps out with the video ranking and stuff like that. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, go check out my novel vlog channel. It's called Michael Vlogs. I'll leave a link to that in the uh, description below. I am running a novel right now. So I have these two channels. I have a gaming channel and that one where I just talk about just a bunch of just random stuff. <laughs> basically. So uh, thank you guys for watching so much. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys on the next one.